So I'm here tonight and we're gonna do a nice little meditation, maybe about 15 minutes or so with our dogs. Today is rainy here in Connecticut, fall day. It is perfect to just curl up on your mat with a blanket and a pillow and your dog and just really get comfortable. Good. So get comfortable. That may mean sitting on your blanket, sitting on your pillow, maybe having a blanket over your lap. And sometimes, you know, there's a wall right behind me. I'll sit right up against the wall for extra back support, right? So you can sit up nice and tall and feel supported. So do that now. Get your comfortable seat. And then get your dog where they're most comfortable. So that may be for you right on your mat with you. Um, you may want to stretch your legs out and have your dog curl up right, right next to you in front of you. Or you may want your dog right at your side. So you choose, set that up now. And also giving yourself permission tonight and anytime you practice to move in your body, you know, if it doesn't feel good. So if you're sitting here and, you know, your back starts to get a little sore, or whatever, move around, take a little bit of stretches and then come right back to our meditation. So tonight we're going to work on just some breathing and some calm touch with our dogs. Let's get started. Okay, take a deep breath in and let it out. Good. If you're ready, you can close your eyes. Another big inhale. And then empty it out. Good, another breath like that. Big breath in. Let it go. And then just start to breathe in and out through your nose. Just breathe in and out. And not changing anything about your breath as we start. Right? Just let it be natural. Let whatever happened happen with your breath. But I want you to bring all of your attention to the quality of your breath. So your breath this evening may be full and deep right? already. Right? Or it may be stuck somewhere. Maybe it's stuck on the inhale and you can only get so far. So don't change any of that just yet. Just breathe in and out. Let your eyes close down. And on your own, I want you to take five breaths. All of your attention is just to what your breath is doing. As you breathe, you're just paying attention gently to what your dog is doing, where your dog is in space. And your dog may be moving, like mine is, <laughs> stealing blankets. Right? Or maybe your dog is tired and just relaxed right next to you. All right, take your last breath, fifth breath. And maybe your eyes are open or your eyes are still closed. Your choice. Start to soften your body. So we'll start with our toes and give your toes a little wiggle. Go ahead and let them be still. And just your toes and your feet, right? Just your feet. See if you can let go of any tension just in your feet. Feel the connection of your feet down to the ground. Bring all of your awareness just to your feet. Take a deep breath in and let it out. A 
bringing your attention up, right? So to your lower legs, your shins, your calves, the space between your ankles and your knees. And maybe you have one hand on your dog, or if you don't have any hands on your dogs, bring both of your hands to that space, right to your lower legs. And I want you to start to deepen your breath. Take a big breath in and then exhale. Think of softening and letting your legs get heavy. Good. Another breath there. Breathe in. Good. Let it out. bringing your awareness to your upper legs, to your thighs, and to your hips. Go ahead and feel the connection of your hips, right, to your blanket, to the floor. Feel how supported you are. Right, not putting any effort into that, just feel how your body supports you. Deepen your breath even more. Biggest inhale, fill up. And then exhale. That's nice, let's do that again. Big breath in. And then exhale, think of the word soften. Soften your hips, soften your legs. And then bringing your awareness to your belly, right? So the middle of your body, just below your rib cage. And before you change anything, right? Notice when I say that what comes up, right? It's dinner time, maybe you're hungry. So maybe your first thought was, I'm kind of hungry when she says my belly, you know? Or maybe you're content, you know? Just noticing what comes up for you. Good, and then I want you to start to soften your belly. So throughout our days, we do so much holding in. We hold our bellies in. We always want to be upright. Um, and a whole lot of tension there, right? Let that be easy. So really just let your belly kind of just be out, right? Just hang out there. <laughs> Good, it doesn't mean you have to round down, right? You can still sit up nice and tall, but just let that whole space relax. There you go. Now you can take even deeper breaths, all right? All right, take a big inhale, fill up. So you're gonna fill all the way from your hips to your belly, up to your rib cage, up to your heart, and then exhale your breath all the way back down. Heart, ribs, belly, hips. Maybe you even draw your belly back in on your exhale. Good. That's a good breath. Let's take that again. Big breath in. Start with your hips, right? And your belly fill up. Big inhale. Feeling everything expand. And then exhale it all out. So you're starting with your heart, ribs, belly, hips. Good. That's a powerful breath. I think we need one more. Let's do it. Breathe in. Let it out. I just want you to notice where your dog is, what your dog is doing. All right, my little puppy here is curled up and fell asleep in my lap. <laughs> so those of you that were with us from the beginning saw how wild he was, right? So simply breathing. Well, look what that can do. Right? Even for a seven-week-old puppy, 
So like even, even at seven weeks, slowing down works for him, okay? Just breathing. Good, then bring your attention to your heart. So the space right, right in the center, right? And then the space all across that reaches to your shoulders, that whole space. Bring your breath there. So as you take an inhale, think of expanding. You're moving your breath from your belly up to your heart and out across, all the way out to your shoulders, maybe even into your back body, your shoulder blades. And then as you exhale, you're exhaling all the breath out. Let it wash down and empty completely. Breathe in again, fill up, expand your heart, expand out through your shoulders, your shoulder blades. And then release. Keep your awareness there. This time you'll take a big inhale, fill up. When you get to the top, hold your breath. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, release, exhale it out. One more like that, fill up, big breath. At the top, you're gonna to hold for five, four, three, two, exhale out. And then just take two breaths in and out. Last one, breathe in and out. Take one last breath together. And this time we're going to think of our entire body. So when you take this next inhale, I want you to think of your toes, your feet, your lower legs, your upper legs, your hips, your belly, your rib cage, your heart, your throat, your face, and the top of your head. One inhale, start at your toes, and breathe all the way in. Exhale, going the opposite way from the top of your head all the way out through your toes. going to move into a little bit of handling with our dogs. So I do things a little bit different with our dogs this evening. So I want you to get close to your dog. I'm going to try to navigate around my little puppy here. So your dog may be right in front of you, so you don't need to move much. Or you can move off to the sides. I'm going to move toward him. hope he stays still for me. <laughs> and this will be a little different for this guy here. Because he's still a puppy, um, some of what we're going to go through. So if your dog um, is older, we're going to go through some different stages of you remembering what your dog was like when they were a puppy. And so I want you to take two hands, both of your hands, so you may be holding onto your dog's collar or your dog's leash. So if you're using a six foot leash, you just hang on to that. And you may only have one hand on your, your dog. I'm gonna place two hands on my puppy here. One's gonna go right in front of his, his chest and just right behind his head, kind of resting on his shoulder blades. And the other's just gonna go right on his back 
because he's little, my hand reaches all the way down to his knee. <laughs> so just two hands on him and just gently resting my hands there. Good. I want you to close your eyes and I just want you to feel what you feel. So I feel teeth right now. <laughs> Good. And I want you to feel just your dog's fur to start. Good. How soft it is, the temperature, right? Whether your dog is warm or cool underneath your hands. Whether your dog is moving, right? And just feel, don't change what you're doing, right? So you're in this calm state, you're just gonna use your hands, you're just gonna feel what's going on with your dog. Right, not letting what they do change you. Good, if your dog's getting really, really, really excited, you may take your hands just off for a second, give your dog a little break. Right, and then put your hands back on. And what do you feel beneath your hands? So warmth, right? So sometimes we feel warm spots on our dogs. If you run your hand down your dog's back, especially an older dog or a dog maybe that has any kind of recent injury, um, it will be warm possibly if they've overused it, right? A little tender, a little warm. So just feeling for any of that. Good, and beneath that, how does your dog feel in terms of being calm or tense? <laughs> so right now as I feel this puppy, I feel like this puppy is calm. Like who he is, he's a calm puppy in general, even though he's mouthing me. But I can feel his muscles working, right? As he bends, I can feel him moving underneath my hands. But he's just being a puppy, right? That's what puppies do. Right. Good. So I'm just not letting his biting really do anything for me. Just put my hands on him. And as you sit here, you may open your eyes, take a little moment. Make sure you're breathing. Right? So a lot of times we get so focused on our dog, we forget to breathe ourselves. <laughs> so making sure you take a deep breath in and out. So I'm giving my little puppy a little chew to work on instead of my hands. Good job, buddy. All right, now I want you to put your hands on your dog wherever they land. And I want you to think back to when you first got your dog. The first memory that you have. Right, and it might make you smile <laughs> and laugh. In my case, with this little guy, I met him on the day he was born. And you might have met your dog the day you picked them up at your breeder or the rescue, right? Wherever you got your dog from. The first day. And they were younger then. Right? They looked different. And then I want you to go along your timeline with your dog and pick a memory early on in your relationship. So maybe you've had your dog only for a month. So you're still in those early stages, but you can still have a favorite memory, right? If it's been a week or a month, bring up that favorite memory, that favorite time where you and your dog 
were together. And then I want you to think of this year. So as you have your eyes closed, your hands on your dog, anything that's happened in this year that stands out. Maybe it's something that was scary with your dog. Maybe it was challenging. Right? Or maybe it was really happy. Just whatever comes up first. Keep your hands on your dog. And maybe it even wasn't this year, right? If something else comes up, go with that. Take a big breath in. And let it go. And then bring yourself to today. Whether it be this morning or this afternoon or even right now. I want you to think of your favorite moment with your dog today. Close your eyes, put your hands on your dog, take a breath, let it go. Good, and then how you feel right now. How you feel yourself, right, first. How do you feel in your body? Right? And then how does it feel to be with your dog? Okay. Let's take one last breath together. Big inhale. And let it out. And then you can open your eyes, release your hands. And that is our meditation for this evening.